I hope you you all are having a wonderful 2021 so far. I know I got to do some bathroom renovations. So what I picked up a while ago, got this on Amazon. It's the Burnzomatic. It's a little portable micro flame butane torch kit. And it comes with you got your trigger on and off here somewhere. You got a pencil flame. It doesn't come with butane. And then there's this other one you got here too for doing like soldering on electronics or wires and stuff but what I need it for is for my bathroom so I'm hoping that this uh, butane works with it but this is available for $69.50 on Amazon uh, and then this stuff is available on Amazon too it's it's a whopping $15.79 a thing for this so I'm hopefully this is going to be compatible because it shows on here to get the same company this Benzomatic they make their own butane. It's quite a bit bigger of a container, but fifteen seventy nine. I picked these up a couple of years ago from a a drugstore in town, the MediSave, for two dollars and twenty nine cents. I don't know if these are in high demand too now. It's, that's like a whopping thirteen fifty. These are gone up. So let's just show you what you get in this for now. So there's a couple of staples in here. So it's just gonna pop open. There's the torch you get. And you just have some instructions thrown in the bottom, and that's about all you get in the packaging there. It's, it's pretty well. The only thing it's holding is a staple, otherwise, it just pops open. Really, it's not sealed or nothing. It's, so, how this would work would be. Oh, I forgot one thing in there. Okay, that's not all in there. There's another piece. That's what I forgot to show you guys right here comes with this piece also and that's that one for doing your fine soldering and stuff I've never soldered before so this is all new to me so it's gonna be empty but I would just think this would be your button for clicking it on we'll just have a quick little look in the guide here and just see what are the actual parts of this thing I don't usually read the instructions but let's see what's what here Okay, so you got a safety lock underneath here. And then this is your igniter button. And then this is, where is it here now? Okay, this is your adjustment knob for your flame. And Okay, and your fill valve is just on the bottom here. There's a little thing right here. So what we're gonna do is, so we'll give this a couple shakes. Hopefully this fits on there. So I'm pretty sure you just usually put these upside down like this and just put that on there. We'll just do a little bit because I've so I don't know if that's full already. We'll just see if that actually went into it. A little bit. Just be just one second. Just want to wipe up. wipe off this excess fuel on the bottom here. Okay, so we're just gonna hold that. Continuous. How's this thing? Let's turn it up. So it looks like you would just maybe pull that. Looks like you pull that down and you just push. There we go. And then you want to continue as so you just let this little switch hook up in the back. I think, okay, let's try this again. So it looks like this just pulls down. Okay, so yeah, if you want to continuously pull that down and take, and then you hit the switch. Okay, how does it work? Like that. Let that go back up. Oh. 
Let's just keep doing this. Just solving some technical difficulties. Just gotta read through this one more time. Okay, that's a safety lock. Oh, that's how you do it, guys. Okay, so we'll you pull down the safety lock. Now I think I got there. Pull down the safety lock. Get it started. You push this in. There you go. Now you got to continue its playing. That way you can run your solder or whatever you're doing on your copper pipes. And just, as soon as you push that again, that clicks out. So that is the. I think it's a burns of. Burns -matic. I think that's how you pronounce it. Burns -matic. But nice little, really super lightweight. Gets the job done if you need to do some soldering jobs. It looks like this one would just. You have to take off something here to. No, I'm not going to be using this one for a while, but if you just read through the instructions, it'll show you how to take this piece off. Because it doesn't look like it just slides over top of this. It's. Quite possibly, but I don't have a screwdriver on me, but it looks like if you just release this little screw, maybe this whole thing just slides right over top of this whole shroud, because it doesn't look like this comes off. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, you just loosen this screw here. I just don't have any tools on me right now. Yeah, I think you could do that. You just release that, and I could just slide right over top. You just retighten it over top of that, and then you can do some fine tuning on it. And it looks like you got another switch over here. Maybe that, let's just see if that's what, maybe that adjusts your plane. So let's start it up again. Safety lock down. Start it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's for adjusting your plane. Look at this. Turn it up more. Yeah, so on this far side, you got a little switch over here that just toggles back and forth that just adjusts your plane. And then it said this top one was for. Air adjustment knob. So let's try that one. Try starting it again. So take down your safety switch one more time. Light it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's more. I don't know why you'd want that, but it must let more air into it or something. But it looks like it's fairly simple. To, you just got to read the instructions, something I rarely do, but. I think I basically got it figured out. And it's got instructions on here too, in case you lose those. It gives you some basic guidelines to it. So, and I'm just glad that this, I got probably about half a can there, another full one. So I wouldn't have paid 30, 31, 32 bucks for those. Wow, that's gone up. I just need to do, put it in a bathtub, so. So if you like what you've seen, it's a simple way to do some soldering. I'm gonna learn how to do some. So until next time, this has been Triple Chip. Hope you all enjoyed the blog. And if you haven't done it already, please consider subscribing because I'm trying to build this channel up for 2021. Until next time, you all have a great evening. Chip out.